Jermaine Johnson won the Senior Bowl. The FSU edge was phenomenal in the first two days of practice and has raised his stock through the roof. Johnson has gone from a borderline day one pick to a top 15 lock. So let's take a look at some of his Senior Bowl snaps and I'll show you why number 10 overall may not be too high for Jermaine Johnson. Let's go. What is going on everybody? Luke here from Play Like A Jet. And man, if you haven't heard, Jermaine Johnson has had an incredible week down in Mobile at the Senior Bowl. I want to take a look at some of these snaps, what he can do as a pass rusher, talk about how he's underrated as a run defender, and really showcase his skill set and why he may be on the board for the Jets a lot earlier than we initially thought. Let's take a look at this first one here, rushing against the right tackle, see him coming out of a three-point stance. What's going to jump off is his explosive get-off and then the power in this man's hands. As he comes off the snap, I want you to watch the subtlety of him throwing his right foot in the ground. That's just going to allow him to go back through the chest. Look at the heavy hands. Look, I understand the tackle slipped. His right leg kind of twists from underneath him. But this is also because of the force of Jermaine Johnson. He just knocks him over. Look how easily he does it. How he catapults himself off that left outside leg. I just love the finish too, giving it to the coach who's playing the quarterback role. We'll let it roll at full speed. Jermaine Johnson, get off. A little bit of bend. You can see the power and physicality for not the biggest edge in the world. Bang, get out of my way. And then finish the play and get to the quarterback. It was a phenomenal rep. As good as that rep was, this one might have been even better. It may be my favorite rep that I've seen out of the Senior Bowl. One-on-one -on -one against one of the best tackles down in Mobile. Watch how he creates a laneway. You can see he widens his arc as he comes off the snap here and watch him just come straight through the chest with speed to power conversion. And look how the tight hands, the leverage and the finish to pancake him and get him to the ground and get up and let him know about it too. He's a chippy athlete. I like that about Jermaine Johnson. But again, subtlety in his movements, just opening and widening that arc to give himself a runway to go speed to power straight through the chest. And look at the force. Look how heavy his hands are, explosive, and then to finish as well. Pass rushing reps and bull rushes don't get any better than that from a 4-3 edge. Okay, so he's powerful, Luke. He's got great hands. He's explosive. Show me what else he can do. Show me some of his other tools. I can hear people saying it. All right, take a look at this spin move. Again, coming from the left defensive end position, something the Jets need because Carl Lawson often rushes from the right. Take a look at this spin move. Two-point stance. Bang, look at him stick that outside leg in the ground and just explode past the right tackle. This is absolutely quality, explosive, fast twitch, all of those traits that you need as an edge rusher. After you've just shown a bull rush and the speed to power he just did, imagine the tackle sitting a little further back in his stance, just being blown by by this spin move. I understand he stumbles. Even with that, he's still going to sack the quarterback in a game situation. Jermaine Johnson, speed to power, bang, spin move. Again, watch it one more time. Outside leg, the ferocity of that spin move and getting in the backfield almost untouched. That's pretty special. And now let's finish with two talking about Johnson as a run defender. Because he is stout at the point of attack, even though a couple of games in all 22 in college, he was moved around a little bit at FSU. I want you to watch the power and the core stability and how he's able to shed and disengage here. First of all, wins the leverage battle. He's the low man with the pads. His hands go inside of number 74's frame. And then watch the way he's able to stabilize his base, rip with his core, and come out and set that edge at full speed. I mean, I, I don't know how you get any better than that. This guy has done wonders for his stock. The Jets fans were mocking him in every single draft at the back end or the early second round. That's not going to happen. This guy's stock has gone through the roof. And now you're going to see the last play. Jermaine Johnson, left-hand side of your screen. Last man on the line of scrimmage. Watch him take on the tight end. Watch him just run him down the line of scrimmage. So as we get the snap off, good ferocity, good pad level, just pushes him down the line of scrimmage. He's closing, just absolutely demolishing the C gap. And then as the running back starts to kick it outside because Jermaine Johnson's run him all the way down the line of scrimmage, disengage, go and make a play. Like, I can't tell you how impressive this is. It's only a tight end, I get it. But look at him string him down the line of scrimmage, throw him out of the way, disengage, and then make a play for a tackle for loss. Jermaine Johnson can do this at a high level in the NFL. You saw him set the edge. You saw him move a tight end down the line of scrimmage. He's a very versatile player, and I think he has absolutely shone down in Mobile. So guys, that's just a taste of Jermaine Johnson. He could be an option for the Jets at number 10. Look, we've looked at Hutchinson already on this channel. We've looked at Adebo. 
I think this kid might be better than Adebo. He may not be quite the caliber of athlete, but he's more polished. I get that he's a senior, but he's got that level of explosion that's going to allow him to be successful. I can't wait to see him at the Combine. I can't wait to watch more of his All-22, but that's Jermaine Johnson. That's the guy that's been dominating the Senior Bowl.